Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Devotions. I hope everybody's okay this morning. On our prayer request, Martha's friend that had surgery is doing great. And the one that had toes removed will take time to heal. Beth's niece is still battling but improving a little. Her son and husband are doing good now. Cheryl's daughter-in-law is doing some better now. Mary Ann, she needs prayer. She's going through a lot right now. Karina's sister is still in critical condition. They took her off the ECMO to see how she does. Karina's surgery went well, but she's still in pain. Doctor said she will need more surgery for her varicose veins. My mother and sister are both starting to do better now. Kim's stepfather Larry is home from rehab now for a broken clavicle. Angela Garcia has COVID and was in the hospital for four days. Pray she recovers soon. Janetta Irvin has to go for a stress test on her heart. Pray all is okay. Tweets is still in pain, but a little better. Her grandson needs prayer to heal him from addiction. Autumn Leaves needs prayer for her daughter. She has Crohn's disease. Diane Clark's son-in-law, Greg, is no better. And pray for the people in Alabama that were affected by the tornado and for the families of the ones that died. Okay, our scripture reading today comes from Psalm 11. In the Lord I take refuge, how then can you say to me, flee like a bird to your mountain? For look, the wicked bend their bows, they set their arrows against the strings to shoot from the shadows at the upright in heart. When the foundations are being destroyed, what can righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord is on his heavenly throne. He observes everyone on earth. His eyes examine them. The Lord examines the righteous, but the wicked, those who love violence, he hates with a passion. On the wicked, he will rain fiery coals and burning sulfur. A scorching wind will be their lot. For the Lord is righteous. He loves justice. The upright will see his face. Hi, Kitty. Okay. Our devotion today is entitled, Facing the Battles with God. The heroic deeds of, a, of U.S. Army soldier Desmond Doss are featured in the 2016 movie Hacksaw Ridge. While Doss's convictions wouldn't allow him to take human life, as an army medic, he committed himself to preserving life even at the risk of his own. The citation read at Doss's Medal of Honor ceremony on October 12, 1945, included these words, Private First Class Doss refused to seek cover and remain in the fire-swept area with the many stricken, carrying them one by one to the edge of the escarpment. He unhesitatingly braved enemy shelling and small arms fire to assist an artillery officer. In Psalm 11, David's conviction that his refuge was in God compelled him to resist suggestions to flee rather than face his foes. Six simple words comprised his statement of faith. In the Lord I take refuge. That well-rooted conviction would guide his conduct. David's words in verses 4 through 7 amplified God's greatness. Yes, life can sometimes be like a battlefield, and hostile fire can send us scattering for cover when we're bombarded with health challenges or financial, relational, and spiritual stresses. So what should we do? Acknowledge that God is the king of the universe. Take delight in his amazing capacity to judge with precision and rest in his delight in what's right, fair, and equitable. We can run swiftly to God for shelter. 
when have you experienced life's hostile fire and been tempted to find shelter in something other than God? Can you recall times when God came to your rescue when your hope in him was renewed? Father, help me to see you more clearly than any force that opposes me and run to you for true safety and security. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anybody out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray, amen. I hope you all enjoyed this morning's devotions. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. All right, everybody. Uh, it's nice out today. It's nice and sunny out. So I'll definitely be outside walking for morning coffee break. So everybody, I'll be seeing you then. Have a great day and God bless.